guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are in overlook bay 2 and today i'm going to be showing you the fastest way to earn candy for the halloween event <music> If you just started playing this event, I recommend going through the quest. And how you go through the quest is that you go to Doc McFly. So you'll be able to meet Doc McFly in the park in this area right here. Um, he's not here right now um just because i completed all of the quests i recommend completing the quest because they also give you lots of candy but if you already completed the request like me the only way to make candy as of right now in part one is to do trigger treating there is one last thing i wanted to mention as well so if you go all the way up to the i don't even know what you call this treehouse <laughs> if you go all the way up to the treehouse and you meet jack o merchant right here you can actually buy halloween pails they're going to be under gizmos and basically they will give you more candy as you can see the busted pumpkin gives you two plus candy the bag of tricks pail gives you four plus this is the one that i have and then the poison apple, which is super cool. I hope to get this one soon is six plus candy. And then the graveyard pill, which is eight plus candy. This one is going to give you the most candy. But as you guys can see, these are worth gems instead of candy. So make sure you are also grinding when it comes to gems so that you can get this graveyard pill. So this will give you more candy. I don't have enough to buy this yet, as you can see. But, and then lastly, I wanted to share the two times candy game pass, which is only 495 Robux. Um, that's if you want to get double the amount of candy. To trick or treat, all you have to do is go to the neighborhood. So I believe there's a neighborhood up here. Yes, there is. So when you are in a public server, there is usually a house right here. You click on the E and then it asks you if you want to trick or treat or go in the house. You click on trick or treat. A little scene will come up where the owner or the user of that house will come out of the front door and give you candy. Now, when you do it that way, it takes up a few seconds and a little bit longer to go around the map and collect all the candy. So the fastest way to collect candy is by joining a private server. Now the private server is free. Anybody can create a private server. I'll go ahead and show you real quick how to create one. Okay, so how to create a private server, make sure that you are in your homepage. And um, let's go to Overlake Bay 2 because this is where we want to go to create our private server. We would go all the way down to servers and i am just using roblox.com on the google chrome app and what you're going to do is you're going to create a private server right here it says that i already created the maximum number of free private servers for the experience so it won't allow me to create another one but basically you'll go ahead and press this and then there will be some options where you can toggle if you want friends to join or if you just want specific people to join you can go ahead and do that then you press create and then you'll have your private server it'll always show up in this area right here so as you can see i'm in mine it's not showing my profile but so that's basically how you create a private server so once you created a private server all you have to do is go up to one of these candy baskets right here press the e on the keyboard or tap the e on the screen and you can go ahead and collect candy as you guys can see there is a five minute wait for every candy bucket that you collect but once you get around the map you'll be able to do this again so let's go ahead and go around the map you can use your personal vehicle to get around faster instead of walking so i'll go ahead and speed up
Okay, so as you can see, um, I am also using the running feature as well that you can purchase in game with Robux. I'm running to each house faster without a personal vehicle. Okay, so I have one more house that I need to go to and it is all the way over here. I always forget that there's a house over here. It has its own little island and that spot over there but as you can see this is where we started and we have about a minute left on the very first um, trick-or-treat bucket that we hit so I'm gonna go all the way over here and make sure I collect the candy from this one because I don't want to forget this all right so we collected our last bucket um, on our very first round around overlook bay I'm gonna go back to the very first one that we hit and it should be just 20 seconds, no, 30 seconds left. Okay, 30 seconds left. I'm gonna go ahead and collect my task. Okay, so we played for 30 minutes. I'm gonna redeem some of these gifts right here. I don't think I've opened some of these, so I'll go ahead and open these on camera. So let's see, I believe I'm just going to get gems with this. How many gems, 44? Okay, awesome, 44. We definitely need gems because there's some items in the Halloween event that are worth gems instead of candy. So keep that in mind too. You definitely want to um grind when it comes to regular gems don't forget about those yes okay yeah so the timer started over five more minutes so i'm gonna go to this one and you can make as many rounds around the map as possible um and this is basically the fastest way to collect candy i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying the overlake bay to halloween event i'm honestly so excited to see what is going to come in part two i'm pretty sure there's going to be more ways to collect candy in part two and i think one of the ways is that um once we get down into the caves there might be some sort of maybe mini games or anything like that anything to collect candy and it might be a faster way to collect candy than just going around in the, in the neighborhood like this but for now this is the fastest way until part two comes out we will find out <laughs> but anyways guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a donut so that you don't miss any of my other videos coming out pretty soon and i hope you guys have a great halloween bye see you next time